Hey, Russ. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> Got another question from Reddit for you. Okay. Well, this one comes up in different forms quite a lot, actually. It's someone okay. who's interested in swords and interested in HEMA, and they just don't know where to begin. Like, do they start with gear? Do they start with the weapons? Do they... What? No. 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 Stop buying shit you don't need until you know what you actually need. Find a teacher. Find out what the teacher wants you to buy and what not to buy, and then listen to your teacher. It's that simple? Okay, it might not be that simple because you might not have a teacher, in which case you go into some kind of online discussion forum saying, hey, I'm stuck by myself and I have to self-study. And you know what? There's a whole lot of different sources online that will let you study the thing you think is cool. Like, ironically, I should have been a big KDF guy since I was hauling those manuscripts out with Jaguars back in the 90s. And the Sabre was so poorly documented, that's where I wound up going, right? But even then, you had people putting how to do our early Hema dinosaur versions of Zwerchow, which I'm still convinced are not 10,000% wrong, up online. Go find those things. If you're interested in rapier, go find them. Some people have courses online for sale. Uh, there's a sword tuber named Ben Miller who's got himself like six or seven different instructors under his umbrella. So he has this thing. Go find one of these folks who are doing it and then work the drills until your eyeballs bleed and then do it with a friend and then get something soft and safe and play with it. And if you decide it's your jam, then spend money. But you don't have to be rich or an IT worker to enjoy doing HEMA. True you that. Do it on an absolute budget. All right. Why does that question keep coming up? Because people want to start HEMA, but they don't know where to start, and they're desperate for somebody to give them a little bit of guidance. I work with a number of people who are vendors for HEMA gear, and I want all of them to succeed, which sometimes gets awkward. Then you're split between like, okay, in this particular situation, who do I wind up favoring more? But at no point should you just run out buying a bunch of shit for absolutely no clue whether you're really actually going to need it. Our school has benefited from inheriting bad sabers that I have then refurbished and made decent, not good, but decent, from people who ran out and bought stuff ahead of time. And they've all said, yeah, after the fact, I should have waited. So it's been great for me, but not if you're on a budget. Totally fair. So figure out what you want to learn first and then figure out what you need to support that. See, you said it. You didn't need to bug me on that one. You yeah, know this stuff. But it's funny. <laughs> I'm going to go back to tapping pieces of metal. All right, you enjoy. Thanks very much. Goodbye. We've got more videos and content coming, so if you liked what you saw and it was useful for you, please stab the like button, slash subscribe, and punch the little bell icon so that you're notified immediately when new content comes available. Thanks, and go do the thing.